Mike Reese with 2013 Saluki Hall of Fame inductee Cassidy Scoggins. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Welcome. And in the first year eligible, that has to be especially pleasing, doesn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, I still honestly don't understand the full effect of it. I haven't had a chance to look at the um, Hall of Fame, the actual Wall of Fame thing yeah. out there. Um, but Carrie told me, she said, you don't probably realize how special it is until you look at that wall. And I haven't had a chance yet. So <laughs> it hasn't sank in. Uh, I honestly didn't even realize I was out for five years for me to even be <laughs> able to be nominated. And I don't understand the whole process. So I'm, it was a, a true shock. I thought you were still on the team. Yeah, I'd I wish like I was. like you're still playing. <laughs> Seems like you're yeah, still playing. Does, does it seem just like yesterday? It really does. I mean, I still, I still feel like I'm at the age where I should be playing, and I feel like physically I could be playing, and so yeah. I just, I wish I could. I wish I could go back. What's your favorite year? What was your oh. best year? They aren't always the same. Maybe they are in your case. Um, best year probably sophomore year. Yeah. Favorite year probably junior year. Um, senior is kind of bittersweet. Freshman, I was still getting used to all of it. So, you know, each, each year definitely has its um, ups and downs, but each year is special for a different reason. Yeah. Why was sophomore year your best year, performance-wise? Um, I think just statistically it was. And so, like, I, you know, I, was, I don't really keep track of it, but, you know, when you have media and things covering mm -hmm. it, then they tell you, and so you have to kind of acknowledge it at a, at a certain point. And so um, I think... I think athletically wise, that was my best year mm -hmm. performing. So. Mm -hmm. Why well, was senior year bittersweet? Um, it just, it, you know, they always say, you know, coaches always say as a freshman, the freshman class coming in, you know, don't take anything for granted. It's going to fly by and you're like, oh yeah, you know, but it really does. And if I could go back for five minutes, I would. Mm -hmm. And so as a senior, you know, you're competing, but you're about to not compete anymore and you don't really know where your life is going. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it was good to have the full, the full four years that a lot of people don't get to experience, but also you want to you want to keep keep it going. Yeah, you were pitcher of the year in 2006. Talk about that year, would you? Uh, was that my sophomore year? I yeah. think I think That'd it was. That'd be junior so year. That maybe junior. Oh seven was your last year. Right? Okay, yeah. Yep. So that was my junior year. Yeah. Um, I guess you know the Missouri Valley Conference had a very strong uh, a very strong season, mm -hmm. and or a very yeah a very strong um, competitive group. Um, all the teams are very competitive and we always it wasn't just one team where you wanted to go get you know it was, mm -hmm. every team was competing um, head for head and that year um, we just had a great team all around you know I mean I attribute my success a lot to my teammates it, you know it's, the team is not just one person for sure and so you know my defense and my offense just you know helped the whole team um, do well. Speaking of you and your teammates Kerry Blaylock said the other day that you guys took Saluki softball to another level. Mm -hmm. Could you discuss that for the people who might not be fully informed that are watching? Where was it and where did you take it? Yeah, I was lucky enough to come in when it was just starting. I think um, the year before me, so my senior year in high school, they made it to the Sweet 16. So I came the year after that. And so you were on this um, the way up. And so it was almost expected. And I never expected anything less coming into mm -hmm. the program. I, you know, I knew they were successful and I knew that that's what was going to continue. And, um, and that's what we did. And we kept it going. And, it was just, it seemed, it wasn't anything abnormal. It just seemed like that's what we were supposed to do, and we did it. When you think back on your career, Cassidy, do you say, I got everything out of my abilities that I could have? I have no regrets about my four years. Oh, I have lots of regrets. Really? really? <laughs> I mean, we were very successful. Um, I love, I love my playing experience. I love the coaching staff. I love my teammates, everything. But, you know, you always go back and you're like, that one game, I wish I could have this, mm -hmm. or, you know, that one series, or, you know, you always have those things where, a couple years later, a year later, when you're not playing anymore, you realize that you could have put a little bit more into something, maybe. Were you heavily recruited? No. No? Mm -mm. Southern was your best option? Your only option? No, not my only option. I was recruited a little bit. Um, not as strongly. Carrie was my first letter that I got in mm -hmm. the mail. And um, everyone, they, they told me, not necessarily to my face, but to my family, that I was just not tall enough and mm -hmm. I wasn't intimidating enough to be a, a good Division One pitcher. And um, I think actually one of the coaches told Carrie that I would be a, a good number three pitcher. And so, um, and I never knew any of this. I mean, I knew I wasn't highly recruited, but honestly in high school I didn't really, I guess I was naive, I didn't know what to expect. Did, did, did you know it when you were here and thus it motivated you? 
no. Um, These people don't think I'm intimidated. Really, honestly, I'll show them. I think, I think um, no, coming in, I didn't know that I was, I mean, I knew I was recruited late, and so that kind of means that you're not mm -hmm. a top priority. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but when I got here, I, I kind of seemed like, oh, I had another freshman pitcher, Ashley Hamby, and so we kind of got here at the same time and went through the same things. And so I kind of looked at myself as an equal. I didn't know where I stood, you mm -hmm. know, and I just knew what I had to do, work hard and get your position. Your numbers, your stats show you were a dominant pitcher. Did you consider yourself intimidating? Do you, were you an intense competitor? I'm a very intense competitor, and that's why Carrie and I get along so well, is we have the same brain uh, wavelength. <laughs> we understand each other without even looking at each other, you know, and so I think that's why um, I was successful was because Carrie understood me and my personality, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, competing is just the feeling you get of being on the mound and competing is, I, that's what I miss the most is the yeah. feeling in your gut. I bet. Congratulations. Thank you well very deserved. Much. Thank you. Cassidy Scoggins, Saluki Hall of Famer.